I don't really agree with that. But then again, I'm Portuguese, so I can say whatever. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got some immunity. Well, I, I, I think that's that, that's the new expat 2.0 who who stops yeah. saying what's in it for me and like what can I take, which is fine, mm. of course. You know, people, we should it should be a win-win. I'm not I'm not I'm looking for a whole generation of horsehair shirt uh, expats who thrash themselves with nettles but like not just what's in it for me but what can i give not yeah. not just what yeah. can i take, but what can i give to this this culture i'm coming to but it, just... it, it's the fact that the, the the expats grew the economy drastically and a lot of yes. the investment especially in renovation and a lot that happened was due to expat investment and the growth in the economy that yeah. happened due to this expat boom yeah. So uh, a lot of this also comes down to what, what how we say in Portuguese, dor de cotovelo. And that's another kind of Portuguese What's problem that? is that we need the, the whole mentality of instead of being happy for other people, being jealous of other people. That's still happening a lot in Portugal. And if like if I'm, I'm not good, no one else can be good. And honestly, that mentality is never good for anyone no that's not just portuguese that's human that's human <laughs> we, we have just, that in the uk too <laughs> well just, just to finish that note there mrs m that you asked me about uh, you know with with the d2 visa as you can see top right hand corner there you 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 where the the golden visa has changed and where the nhr has gone um there is now the re-emergence of the d2 visa residency by investment and again it's like it's not so much a retirement thing and like what can i get this is people coming to portugal who are investing in the, their own business, or they could be investing in a Portuguese business. So there's a lot of scope and fertility, uh, economic fertility around this and viability. So and, uh, definitely... um, on a note on that, I think a lot of businesses, like the, the whole expat angel thing, I think a lot of business, they don't just need money, they need support. Yeah. Right. Because uh, if you just give money, but the problems stay the same, that money is going to go away. But yeah. a lot of people, and that's something that is often lacking in the entrepreneurial um, ecosystem is that there isn't enough support. And lots of people that, uh, like they say in the startup industry, bootstrap, like I do, like it's pretty much just funding your own thing. Uh, we kind of just wing it a lot of the time. And it would be really, really great to actually have a support network. Yeah, well, it's it's happening. It is happening, and I think it's going to go from strength to strength. And it's like the times are almost prompting it and supporting it. Aren't they? These are tough times, and so we're being um, we're giving this opportunity to help each other and support each other in in these difficult times. And and I think it's best if we do it collectively. What is it? You know, if you want to go if you want to go fast, go alone. That's how it's been. But if you want to go far, go together. Mm. Uh, and that's certainly an ethic of, of this community, as, you, as everyone can see looking at this screen this morning. So thank you very much, Siobhan, for being here. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And I'm cat. You can't go just yet, though, because we've got the lies we tell our kids and the dad jokes to see you into the Confi can, can I just say one more thing? What, you need uh, to go before the dad jokes come on? No, no, no. no. Right. Um, just, you know, I, I, I'm, I've met quite a few expats that um, have come to retire. Yeah. Um, and... I don't always think it necessarily suits them. You know, lots of people have this idea, yeah. in particular, uh, like the baby boomers and early Gen Xs. You know, got the, they've got this idea that, you know, when they get to a certain age, they're going to retire and life's going to be great. But a lot of people need something to keep them going. They need mm -hmm. a pet project. They need something that they can feel really excited and, and powerful about. Definitely. Um, I but see we can't of... sell them that before they get here. We would just no, say, no. yeah, you'll be eating pastel donatas all day. It's going to be great. <laughs> could, you imagine, could you imagine if you're able to commit to like an hour a day of advising people or helping? And we people? know, don't we? They're not going to stop but there. there. And but there's a lot of people out there. Right? Yeah, you've met a lot of the people. You have, yeah, yeah. We have, and honestly, like, we have a few names I could say that if it wasn't for them, that's how we're on holiday, actually, this week, because we have a full farm back, in, obviously, by the sea, yeah. by you guys. Yeah. If you see any animals running free in San Martín, we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, but it's obviously because of these friends. I, I call them friends. Yeah. They're members of the association, but they've become such dear friends, and they're retirees that have come over, and they're searching for something to do. They want to get involved with the network. Um and thanks to them, yeah, they've become a, an extended family to us and they Beautiful. help in so many, so many ways. And I'm so grateful for that. And 
yeah, I think there's a lot of people, we have a lot more people that are constantly asking how they can help. Mm. Um, you know, Kat, it could be in ways of like networking, finding more customers, mm. all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Cause not everybody's like good at farming or good at gardening or good at whatever, or want to do that. But there's mm. so many people that have an incredible, valuable baggage with them that can help out and that want to help out, but they don't know where to go. Yeah, a lot of people in this community are doing local things they're all yeah. taking local action in and we need ways. to know about it because yeah you, 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 siobhan you're also faculty for expats angels because you, you've you've made it work you've, you've shown people how to do this by by doing it okay i know you've got to go everybody so yeah, i don't sorry. know where your halloween candy went lies we tell our kids <laughs> and and, and and christmas, and christmas and, 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 yeah sorry about that um, <laughs> while we're chewing it in fact i have to take a bite of your dessert to test for poison yes i said that just yesterday yeah excellent <laughs> um, and, oops the cashier must have forgotten to put your candy in the bag i did that yesterday as well <laughs> a, a variation on that thing <laughs> Um, and oh, have you got the pinterolish? I found the pinterolish, the three pack of pinterolish. The cashier must have taken one of them out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dad jokes then. Uh, when a kid says, Daddy, I want mommy, that's the kid version. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you. <laughs> it, does, it does mean they're about to try and negotiate that's something. That's really isn't brilliant. It? <laughs> Um, our kids have been staring through the window ever since it started to snow. If it gets any worse, I'll have to let them in. <laughs> Very good. And the biggest joke on mankind is that computers have begun asking humans to prove they aren't a robot. Oh my god, that is, that is really chilling. actually quite. That is just not, that's not funny. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Um, what a great session! Thank you so much this morning. Never know how things are going to go on the Good Morning Portugal show because it's a, a live stream. Um, but that has been beautiful. Thank you so much. Look, for, we've got for, all these for, volunteering um, comments coming in. Have we really? That's yeah. superb. And I can't get to them now because everyone's got to go have a bon fin semana. Don't forget to put yeah. the sex the sesh de fair, everybody. Mm. Take care. Uh, a nice big round of applause for you both, Siobhan and Savi Katana. And you, Mrs. Mm -hmm. M, take care. And bye for now. And we'll see you bye next Monday. Ciao. Bye. Bom dia, Portugal. In Portugal, there's a YouTube show full of fun facts you need to know. Carl brings a bell and the members show to the GMP morning show. Featured guests will come and they will blow your mind. The audience will do so in kind. The little vanity mixed with some insanity On the morning show with GMP Good morning Portugal and I'd like to welcome you to another fantastic day Hey you gumpers!